In North Korea, of course, the marriages are for one husband and one wife, so very monogamy marriage. However, this rule for the normal people do not apply when it comes to dictator. He had multiple, multiple wives and had many, many, many pleasure squad members. I think after Kim Jong Un killed his uncle, he had to be shown more to the elites that that he's in power. There's nobody can ever replace me. That's why I'm the only one you have to be like loyal to. I'm the only way that every elite, every you know North Korean can survive. And this is another scary, the, another assassination is possible because Kim han sol the son of Kim Jong-nam, is still the main legitimate next heir than Kim Jong-un because he's the child of the first son. Then, and he, Kim han sol doesn't even have any Japanese descendants in his blood. Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to see me. My name is Yanmi Park. I'm a North Korean defector and human rights activist. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about something very special. It's been four years since the assassination of Kim Jong Nam, Kim Jong Un's half brother, and it was truly shocking events for me to even witness as an activist. And also, it was a truly shocking moment to even the whole world to see how brutal and how reckless the dictator was in North Korea. Before I start, uh, I wouldn't uh, watch this trailer with you guys. It's about a movie, The Assassin. It's about a death of Kim Jong Nam in Malaysian airport. Kim Jong Nam has been assassinated. Two women have just been arrested in connection with the murder. He allegedly smeared the chemical onto his face. He thought that she was part of a prank show. There is no evidence of political plot. In jail, two years. The girls have no one apart from each other. That was um, oh wow. Well, we gotta start somewhere. So let's start. Why I think Kim Jong Un killed his brother? In the day, broad light. In the there's a, hundreds of cameras and international airport in Malaysia. Uh, number one, I think it's a uh, as the video said, was the legitimacy that Kim Jong Nam was posing to Kim Jong Un. In North Korea, the birth status matters way more than here because you know North Korea still has a caste system, and usually North Korean caste system doesn't really matter what you do. It's all about what your great great grandparents did. And if they were somewhere in the wrong side of revolution or were landowners, you are a criminal, right there. And this is something that I am still so cannot like take it. And how evil this thing is is like it doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter who I am. In their eyes, if somebody was they do not have the right thing in their eyes, the many generations ago, that person still has to be responsible for their crime. And therefore, so Kim Jong Nam is a wife from the first wife that Kim Jong Il had. In North Korea, of course, the marriages are for one husband and one wife, so very monogamy marriage. However, this rule for the normal people do not apply when it comes to dictator. He had multiple, multiple wives and had many, many, many pleasure squad members uh, forced to satisfy satisfy him. And apparently, though, Kim Jong Nam was coming from this main legitimate wife. And this is a huge threat to Kim Jong Un because he is coming from the third wife. By the way, but the thing most threatening part about the mother's he, Kim Jong Un's mother is that she wasn't just a third wife. She was a born in Japanese. She was Japanese who came, but her family I think were ethnic Koreans who were born in in Japan. That she came I think as a teenager as a dancer to North Korea. And so this way, the North Korea's sworn enemies are one Americans and one Japanese. They call them like imperialists and the monsters and the most evil enemies in the world you can imagine. And therefore, as a as a leader of this country, say that my mother was Japanese is something that he cannot swallow. And also, there is a, a perfectly fine son from the legitimate wife. In the first wife is alive, it will never like let like Kim Jong be easy about his situation. I think after Kim Jong Un killed his uncle, he had to be shown more to the elites that that he's in power. There's nobody can ever replace me. That's why I'm the only one you have to be like loyal to. I'm the only way that every elite, every 
you know, North Korean can survive by being loyal to me. I think to to make that one loyalty stream, I think he killed uh, Kim Jong Nam. And the second of all, I think why he chose Malaysia out of all places, right? Because Kim Jong Nam was actually was living in Macau with his family. Kim Jong Nam was born in 1971, and still like still pretty young, and. He was very favored by his own father Kim Jong Il until Kim Jong Nam took up made a fake passport and went to Japan to visit D Disneyland. It's a uh, it's almost like hilarious that the heir of this hermit kingdom he couldn't resist his uh, curiosity about seeing the Disneyland. He made a fake passport and went to Japan for that. And on the way back, he got caught by Japanese journalists, and it was a huge embarrassment to the world that the North Korea in the air was going to Disneyland, and Kim Jong Il got so upset that he demoted him from the air, and then kicked him out of Pyongyang. So I will talk about Macau. Why it is a very important place for North Korea to have operations, the international operation they got. Uh, North Korea, of course, as you guys know, cannot survive with China. And Macau is a you know very close international trading city, Hong Kong, and used to be a Spanish rule. So Macau was always a place that North Koreans went and have a lot of uh, illicit like business there. And they used to bring a lot of counterfeit hundred dollar bills. They bring a lot of hackers and do hacking in Macau or selling lots of weaponry to Middle East and also drugs. And Kim Jong Nam, some people say he used to make money through that way. He would sell the weapons and the drugs to the other countries, and that's how he made the money for his father in living in Macau. After, of course, like the father passes Kim Jong Il, now Kim Jong Un is in charge, and Kim Jong Nam always was afraid to be assassinated or be kidnapped by Kim Jong Un. That was his fear. So when the day that Kim Jong Nam got that VX on his spread on his face by those two girls at the airport, he already like carried those like antidote in his bag. So he knew that he was under the threat. And I think Chi the North Korea chose Malaysia as a location is because they didn't really wanna make China look bad. Imagine like in Chinese soil in Macau. The most like famous dictator in 21st century, the half brother got assassinated. Of course, China is not gonna like that. It will, you know, show the world is like the security wise, China is not safe or something. That's why they Kim Jong Un chose Malaysia to do it when Kim Jong Nam was on a business trip. So Kim Jong Nam had four children, and according to the like, New York recent news came out, the CIA took them to. Somewhere, and what I heard was in the east coast of America, and his son Kim Han Sol is still alive. And this is another scary. The another assassination is possible because Kim Han Sol, the son of Kim Jong Nam, is still the main legitimate next heir than Kim Jong Un because he is the child of the first son. Then and he Kim Han Sol doesn't even have any Japanese descendants in his blood. However, I don't think based on Kim Hanser's interviews in the past that he actually denounced his grandfather as a dictator and showing that he feels sorry for the North Korean people suffering. I don't think he has the ambition to take over North Korea as what it is. He might be the reformer. Nobody knows. However, this is a concerning part that Kim Jong Un might go after Hanser as well. Uh, I think this is a, something a good reminder for us to understand how brutal, how reckless dictator is. He does not care what does this international community thinks. He's gonna do what he, what is good for him, what is good for him to maintain his power. And I think that's why we have to be the voice for this di distance, and to not forgetting these lives, innocent lives that was being lost. Because as soon as we like keep forgetting about what the dictator did, he will, you know, I think he will go ahead and killing more people. We have to hold Kim Jong Un accountable in some way. Otherwise, we will see more victims like Kim Jong Nam. So, I just really want to keep talking about Kim Jong Nam because I want, I don't want the Hanser to get killed or anybody in the Kim family that threatens Kim Jong Un's regime. I mean, reign that's getting killed. Even if Kim's family, they are the human lives that we have to fight for them. 
So thank you guys for watching and I hope to watch this movie. So I hope you guys find the movie too. It looks so interesting. I look forward to seeing you guys all next time. Bye guys.